Hey guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living where I help women create and build their dream lives in a body that they love on a budget that they can afford. So in today's video, we are going to attempt a pantry challenge, yes. So if you guys saw our last video where we went to Wild Florida for Father's Day. So typically whenever we do vacations or anything to that, so I create what's called sinking funds. This is where you save up money over time and then you use those funds for that particular event. However, I do enjoy giving myself a nice challenge. So if I can save money on groceries this week, then I don't have to use that entire sinking fund. I know, sounds crazy, but I enjoy it. So what I did was I went in and I cleaned the pantry. I know that some people like to have extra food storage, um, you know, because you never know what can happen. But for me, I'm one of those people that the more food we have, the more food is actually wasted. So I went in and I cleaned out the pantry and here is what I found. And these are the ingredients that we will be using for this week's meal prep. All right guys, so this is what we have and I will be emptying this out. So let's start over here. These were just um, some pinto beans, I'm sorry, some ki kidney beans, some 8-1 sauce, I don't know. It's been there and it hasn't been opened, but I know I bought this a long time ago, so we need to kind of try to start using that up. Um, some pepper, black beans, um, some taco seasoning, some Italia dre Italian dressing, and then, so we have these. So I'm thinking that tonight we'll actually do um, like burritos for the family and then I'll probably create like a little um, bowl for myself. We've got pinto beans, some pesto, Alfredo. These are noodles like when you make like pad thai. So I think I'll make that this week. Some oregano. I have to use up that last little bit. We've got some fettuccine, so I think I'll do like chicken alfredo or meal. Some enchilada sauce. Not sure what I'm gonna do with that yet. Some spaghetti or marinara sauce. We've got some more tortillas. Um, some stuffing mix I don't even think we eat stuffing I don't know I'll make this for the family actually there is a recipe on the back that I saw and I may try something like that maybe and I'll let you guys know how it goes and there are two boxes of those some coconut milk Diced tomatoes, green beans, more green beans, some more fettuccine noodles, some spaghetti noodles, diced tomatoes, some pinto beans, some more spaghetti sauce. Sweet peas, some canned chicken. I think I may actually use this in my food prep. Yeah. Some sweet corn, gravy mix, more coconut milk. Pinto beans and red kidney beans. You guys, I am so interested in knowing with the ingredients that I showed you, what are some meals that you would create? Please leave those for me down in the comment section because obviously these are ingredients that we tend to buy often. So if you leave me some suggestions down below, I'll be sure to use those at some point and I'll even film them and upload them for you guys. But um, yeah, so right now what I'm gonna do is my daughter is, all right, so right now what I'm gonna do is I created a list here of 19 ingredients. And I think that's kind of a lot, but considering that I can like whip things together with these ingredients from my family, but I still need to be able to 
eat. You guys know that I don't eat flour or sugar. So on the list, I have some shredded cheese, um, a pack of Cracker Cuts cheese, beef broth, broccoli, peppers, romaine, tomatoes, cucumbers, apples, bananas, eggs, salsa, jasmine rice, stir fry veggies, oat milk, frozen fruit, spaghetti sauce, and chicken thighs. And my goal is that she's able to purchase all those items from Aldi under $100. I'm probably like stretching it a little bit too thin, but if she can get that under $100, that would be fantastic. Um, yeah, so anyway, she's about to head out. I'm gonna go work out and then I'll let you guys know how she does when she comes back. Oh, I also forgot to mention, I think it's only fair that I mentioned that I'm also using, let me flip the camera around. So I'll also be using this. I pulled this out of the freezer. Um, this is some organic grass-fed beef. We have four packs of those, so four pounds. And then also, thawing out um, these chicken leg quarters. And then one more thing. So I'll also be cooking the salmon for myself. And just to show you guys from last week, this is the food that I have left for myself. Um, some more dip. Obviously, I enjoy carrots more than I do the celery. Some tuna. This is the family's blueberries. One pineapple. I'm going to eat that here in a bit. And then, you guys remember I put all of my food in the bins. So, this is all I have left. So, obviously, I need food for myself for this week because I am on this 100-pound weight loss journey. I only have one salad container left. All right. Okay, so what I'm doing with the chicken is I rinsed it and I tossed it here in the crock pot. It is still kind of frozen, but I'm just going to season it and allow this to cook while I'm at work. And then with the black beans, I'm going to rinse them and then toss them into the Instant Pot and cook those. Okay, so I just added some salt. I didn't use that one. Garlic, oregano, and black pepper. And usually I'll peel the skin off, but because it's still frozen, I'm not hanging around for it to thaw completely. Put it in for seven on seven hours but my daughter will be home she can change it if it's she can stop it if it cooks ahead of time oh and I added just a little water in the bottom now with this chicken I plan to do the chicken alfredo um, and also the pad thai I'll just chop this up dice it up and hopefully it will be enough to feed my family of five all right guys so she just got back from the store we have eggs Granted, they're not organic or cage-free, but we have eggs and beef broth. So two of those. And then oat milk. Some chicken breast. Salsa. Peppers. Romaine. I wanted three of those. I don't know if she thought I meant just three or three packs. We'll see if there's more romaine in here. Because if not, I'll have to go back. Um, cucumbers, so I wanted five of those. Let's see how many we got. That's, those are really big though. Two, three, four. Oh yeah, we got five, five cucumbers. And the broccoli. Um, some stir fry veggies, some pasta sauce, jasmine rice. So I wanted the cracker cuts, but she got these instead. And I think this would be fine because I like to have one serving of this for my fat. So this would be fine. And then some tomatoes, frozen fruit for her smoothies, well for everyone's smoothies, but she has smoothies the most. And then bananas, apples, 
Oh, and there's a extra romaine, the other two packs of romaine and shredded cheese. All right, guys, so comment down in the comment section how much do you think she spent? Let me grab the receipt, that's what I'm reaching for. So she spent a total of $66.87. What? I may have to start back shopping at Aldi because this was really good. Like that was, that was really, really good. So that leaves us, what, 66, so 67. So like $143 is what we saved on this week's grocery haul because usually I spend around $200 every week. I'm sorry, man, I'm so excited. So that basically pays for um, like the drive-through safari thing and the lunches. So I'm just so excited. So I only have to transfer, um, so I only have to transfer the money from the sinking funds for the airboat ride. That's not too bad. Go, 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 go. Thumbs up this video if you love saving money as well. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Wait, we're not done. I've gotta show you what I cook. Hang tight. So this morning I am going to make like a pancit noodle type dish. And this is just gonna be like a really quick one. Usually I like to cut my veggies like fresh, like use fresh carrots and broccoli. Um, but we're just gonna use the stir fry mix for, for this one. And then I also wanted to show you guys that these were the beans that were left over from yesterday's meal. And I'll probably use those as like protein sources throughout the week. And then the chicken that I did in the crock pot was literally like falling off the bone. But it looks so yummy and delicious. And my husband's already been eating a little bit of that. But I'm going to use a little bit of this chicken um, for the pan sit meal. And then also some of it for the chicken alfredo. So I just want to make a note that these noodles cook very quickly. I've already drained them and they cooked in like the same amount of time it took me to steam the veggies. So perfect. Now I will add a little bit of oil here, some chicken, veggies, noodles, season everything and voila. Okay, so here's what we have with me only using half of the chicken, but I think I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit more just to add a little bit more protein to this. The veggies definitely help bulk it up. And I also use the juice from um, like the broth that was left over from when I cooked it in the crock pot um, to like help season it as well. But yeah, I'm gonna add a little bit more chicken and then this will be done. So here are the finished results. This will be dinner for my family tonight. Remember, we're talking like 40 something year old man two growing boys, 10 and 12, and 18 year old daughter. And then with this, I'm still trying to decide if I want to toss this in with some pinto beans and then they could just have like this and um, pinto beans and rice one night, or if I want to toss this into the Instant Pot with rice and just have like a seasoned chicken and rice type thing. I don't know, I'll decide at some point this morning, but I need to get dressed and go work out. I also want to add that I did use a pack of this for meatballs for myself. So I'll, these are four ounces each, so that's four servings of protein for me. So Tuesday was a really easy night. Basically all I did was cook the ground beef and make the assortment for burritos and they had burritos Tuesday night super easy long work day easy meals it works good morning guys it is wednesday morning it's 5 a.m so i'm gonna show you guys what i'm making for dinner for my family tonight so i pulled out um just some cans of beans and some diced tomatoes I'm gonna toss all of this in my, I'm gonna toss all of this into the Instant Pot with like this leftover chicken, cook all of that together. And then I am going to cook four cups of jasmine rice and we'll have rice, well, they'll have rice and beans for dinner. Beans and rice. I also moved this over to show you guys how much food we have left. 
So there's a slight chance that I may be doing this challenge again next week because we still have a lot of ingredients. I think that's so cool. Like I said, today is Wednesday, so we still got to get through, you know, the rest of the week. But yeah, it's just, I don't know. I think it's just really inspiring to see that you can do a lot with the little. Yeah. So this is what it looks like. Of course, I'm not going to feed my family the bones. <laughs> but I'm about to cook this for 20 minutes in the Instant Pot and let it do its thing. Okay, for reference, I like to stack on Tuesdays and Thursdays as in work days. So Thursday, I basically pulled all of the leftovers out. And listen, it was every man for themselves. So I pulled everything out and they could also add fruit and salad. And yeah, that was Thursday. All right, guys. So it is Friday evening and we were so tempted to just order out. But we're going to stick with the plan. I am so happy this challenge is almost over though because I don't really feel like cooking right now, but I'm gonna do it because we're sticking to the plan. So tonight I'm going to make um, like some chicken or beef bowls, kind of like a burrito, but in a bowl. So I'll show you what I'm about to cook. So I am about to cook both of these and then they have an option between chicken or beef. Okay, so we've got some ground beef here and I'm going to take this out. And then I'm actually gonna take the rice and reheat it like here in the pan with a little bit of the oil from from the burger from the beef i am so happy that we did not order out because this literally took like 20 minutes to make so we've got so here's the main thing so just imagine like a bowl kind of like chipotle style right so we've got rice and some different styles of beans and some ground beef chicken and then also like some salad um, and cheese, sour cream, got some peppers, um, olives, and salsa. And I think it's gonna be delicious. Five bowls for everyone. Oh, and of course, I've gotta add the sriracha in hot sauce. I hope that you guys were able to get an idea as to how um, my family tends to try to save money by cooking from the pantry and also the way in which we try our best to eliminate food waste. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.